Supreme Court reinstated Joseph Vidvarka to the Senate ballot last week. It was too late for Washington County. That means that voters here will be using the machine tomorrow for most races, but they will also be using a paper ballot like this one just for the Senate race. It was just March 30th that Commonwealth Court ordered little-known Senate candidate Joseph Vidvarka removed from the ballot. Washington County followed the court's order. But the county did not anticipate this, a Supreme Court ruling last Tuesday reversing that decision and putting Vodvarka back on the ballot. When you saw that, what went through your mind? <laughs> I can't say it on TV. <laughs> it takes two weeks for Washington County to test its voting machines, meaning election officials did not have enough time to put him back on the electronic ballot. So they decided to print a separate paper ballot just for the Democratic Senate primary. This is about the only option we had to be fair to all four candidates. Two other counties, Lancaster and Columbia, also left Vodvarka off the voting machines. But instead of using paper ballots, they are instructing Vodvarka supporters to write in his name electronically. Which, in our opinion, doesn't meet the Supreme Court's intent anyway at all. A spokesperson for Senate candidate Katie McGinty says they are worried that Washington County voters will be too confused or too rushed to cast paper ballots. Election officials hope these warning signs ensure that voters remember the Senate race. Any votes cast on the machine for that race only will not count. Only the paper ballots will count. Washington County will not be counting these paper Senate ballots until Wednesday morning, which could make for some tense moments if it's a close race. Reporting from Washington, Washington County, Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.